Two weeks ago, Mickey Hart walked his only daughter up the aisle in a county Tyrone church. This evening, flanked by two of his three sons, he spoke about his family's grief following her tragic death. We're, we're giving people this chance to, to, to say, look, at, this is how we feel. Many people have felt like this in the past. This is our day to bear this cross. Uh, we just love our Michaela. She was such a good girl. And, you know, every father does say that about their daughter, but I can say that without a shadow of a doubt. She was a gem, and we'd always remember her. And what a day she had on her wedding day. She was just radiant, beautiful girl, and I just love her to bits, and so does our whole family. And, and we just are so devastated. In Mauritius, four hours ahead of Irish time, the investigation of Michaela McAreevy's death continues tonight. She came with her husband John to honeymoon at this five-star hotel. It was here yesterday afternoon that she was killed. The police say autopsy results indicate she was strangled and that John McAreevy, who found the body, is not a suspect. The lady was found uh, strangled. The strangulation, she was found dead. The husband himself has found the body inside the room. Maybe somebody was inside the room was was, was trying to steal something and she, she has she has surprised that person and maybe the, the, the person killed, killed. The chief celebrant at the couple's wedding on the last day of December was the groom's uncle, the Bishop of Dromore. He spoke of his nephew's love for his bride. She was the light of his life. Absolutely uh, and truly uh, he, he, he adored her and uh, talked about her with such warmth and... Uh, he loved every, 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 everything about her, uh, her faith, her personality, her love for things Gaelic and Irish, um, her sparkle. Uh, I, I said to somebody today that uh, on the day of their wedding, she was practically uh, giggling with excitement. Michaela and her husband both travelled on Irish passports. One of her three brothers and a brother-in-law are on their way to Mauritius. An Irish diplomat arrived there this afternoon. Ireland's ambassador to South Africa is due tomorrow. The preparations are underway to bring Michaela home. Tommy Gorman, RT News, Belfast. In County Tyrone today, there was widespread shock and disbelief over the tragic death. The chaplain at St. Patrick's Academy in Dungannon, where Michaela McAreevy was a teacher, has said staff and pupils have been left numbed and sickened by her death. Father Peter McAnenley described her as a wonderful role model who was full of life. Tributes have also been paid by the president of the GAA, Christy Cooney, and the former Tyrone captain, Peter Canavan. This is Ballygawley, home to the Hart family and Errigal Kieran GAA club. Today the streets are quiet, the people numbed by the heartbreaking news from Mauritius. Well, as you know, this Tyrone team has a lot of tragedies, and uh, this is just one that is maybe bigger than any of the other tragedies are all all great tragedies but this is one that uh, we never get over and it's going to be very difficult for the Hart family to get over it and uh, we need a lot of prayers for them at this special time. All day long people have been calling to the Hart house but no words are adequate. In St Patrick's Academy Dungannon where Michaela McAreevy taught life will never be the same again. I mean in many respects we're, we don't have the words as such to adequately um, express just how, 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 how we're feeling. Um, but the, the children themselves, they've, they've been wonderful. I mean, they've been rallying around today as such and they've been verbalising, they've been um, just expressing just how, how they're feeling. But they're really a, a wonderful source of uh, comfort and, and support and strength to, to each other. But again, just a, a dreadful, dreadful tragedy. From Mizzen to Mallon Head, the people of Ireland are numbed by the news. But it's in times like these that the GA community, both nationally and locally, extends its arms. And I suppose in a, in a special way the association grieves for the Hart family today and for John. John, a former inter-county player with Down. So it's really, really a, a significant tragedy for both their families but also for our association because we've lost a wonderful person. Back in Ballygawley, a true legend of Tyrone football encapsulates in words the feelings of locals. Well, it's one of disbelief here in, in the parish of Errigal at the minute. Uh, um, the family and indeed the neighbours, the people in general, just can't come to terms with what has happened. Um, Michaela was a very outgoing, lively, bubbly personality. Um, she's touched so many people at so many levels. And to think this has happened to her is unbelievable. 
It really is difficult to comprehend that a few weeks after Michaela Hart married John McAreevy in this church behind me, the preparations are now being put in place locally to bring Michaela back from Mauritius to have the funeral mass here in the church where she was married on December 30th. Marty Moisey, RT News, St Malachy's Church, Bally McElroy, County Tyrone.